What is up guys, today I will show you how to unlock your PS4 here uh, and how to install any game, whatever you like here on this console, on this device. So let's go step by step. I've got a version of the uh, system is 8.52. You may have a different version and it has account of a previous owner. So I suggest to start from the hard reset of the of this device. I already connected and uh, let's do let's go to the menu. Initialization here and initialize PS4 full so it will be deleted everything takes several hours this reason but I hope it will be faster all users and all data will be deleted so let's click initialize here DNS server cannot be used the server is not set okay yes okay let's wait until it will be over okay now you see started to initializing do not turn it off uh, remaining time two hours so it will take quite long let's keep it this way for now and i will be back to you once it will be finished okay yeah here we have after initializing the settings so it's fully fresh uh, installation of the PlayStation uh, 4. Uh, you need the cable, USB, micro USB cable to USB connected to your uh, joystick here to do all shock and connected to your uh, PlayStation to activate it. So let's do it right now. Uh, I'm connecting it to here and connected from the front to the PlayStation. And then you need to wait, dual shock 4 is connected, I think. Yeah, okay, it's working. You see here it appears as a language selection, so now you can disconnect it. Choose a language here. And next. Now it's asking for your environment, so don't do it. Just cancel. Skip. And let's wait time. Okay, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Next, next, accept, start now. Okay, so it's loading, user one. So here we have, it's connected, not con not connected to the internet. And what we should do is uh, go to the laptop. All right, what you need to do actually is to create uh, the folder using the USB stick. So here I have uh, my USB stick here connected to my MacBook and what you need to do is to create the uh, folder called PS4 here. Then inside this folder uh, update folder, that's how it's called. And here you should download, I leave the comments below and you can also search for your firmware actually i have version 9.0 to update here and you should name it psupdate.pub here here you need to have it and uh, the format of your usb flash drive should be uh, x fat uh, let's find where is this okay i don't know oh, okay here format x fat here okay so now you need to connect your usb drive to your uh, to your PlayStation, let's disconnect it. So I have it here, and let's go and connect it. So first, let's disable your PlayStation. Just hold the power button on the front for like 10 seconds. It will be disabled. So now it's disabling. Let's wait a bit. Okay, I took some extender here. It doesn't fit. So now it fit perfectly. That's the first step, and. Now you need to uh, click and hold uh, the PlayStation turn on button and wait until you will hear the sound. Okay, now it's connected. So now what you will see on your TV is like this. 
I'll connect the dual shock using the USB cable and press the PS button. So let's connect it. I have my dual shock here. Let's connect it using USB like this and press and PS button. Okay. Now you have here the recovery mode. So what you need to do is to go to restore update system software. Select this one. Uh, update from USB storage device. Okay, it found a new version called version 9. Actually, that's what we need. And please double check that exactly this version that you downloaded will be installed. Let's click continue and copy the file. It will take less than one minute. It's one gigabyte firmware here. Install him. Let's wait until it will be done. Do not take that much time here. Okay, need to click update. Let's click it. Update is ongoing. It should be restarted or update, I guess. We open special menu, system software update. Now we need to wait until it will be over and I will be back to you. So All right, it's actually over. So let's press the PS button on the control. Okay, I've disconnected the joystick here. You can select user one, press PS button on the controller. Uh, more out, okay, skip. Then need to go to the settings. Let's check it out whether we have the new version here installed. Uh, software upgrade system here. System information version nine here. Okay, we are good to go. Let's then uh, connect to the internet. So we need to click network then so IP address settings, you should select to automatic and click next. Then DHCP how specify or not specify. You can select uh, do not specify here. DNS settings manual. And let's put the DNS settings here. So here we have that's the primary DNS here. That's the address and click done. So that's how it should look like, 165, 227, 83. So here we have the secondary DNS, 192, 241, 221, 79, and click done. So that's what we should have at the end. And click next. MTU settings, so MTU settings can be, can be automatically a proxy server do not use now test the internet connection let's wait success success so it's working connection test completed okay let's close it and see we are should be connected to the internet let's one more time test it test check in internet connection success all right so to be more sure that it will not update by itself okay then you need to go to the system automatic downloads and just remove all the things here uh, and although let's go to uh, let's go back and find out the okay we need to open set up the features available in rest mode Stay connected on the internet. This supply power to USB ports. Okay, this we can keep. The most important is to disable the internet. Actually, we are done here. Now we can move on with the next steps. Okay, actually, I found out similar map. Uh, okay, I found out similar. Okay, I found out similar app uh, for MacBook, but then itcher here because I don't know with my uh, parallels it didn't work, so I could not select the device. And I decided to install just uh, another app that is for created for MacBook, and I will use this map here. Let's uh, open this app. Uh, you need to select the flash file. Let's choose uh, download. This file is selected, select the target flash drive here and click flash. 
Uh, okay, we need to type the password. Click allow. Okay, flashing is done. And now let's check whether everything works here. The device is not visible now. We will close the parallels. Okay, let's try this USB stick here. Okay, it's not readable, you see here, so, but it should work. Let's uh, disable it and turn on in our PlayStation. Next, what you should do is go to the settings, uh, open the user guide and helpful information here, click on user guide, then you will be open the page redirected here, then you should select PS4 9 here version. Now you need to select to gold hand here, click on it. Then it's loading, need to wait a bit. It's not stuck, you see here it's still loading, so let's wait. Insert USB, now it's written, so we have prepared the USB drive. Okay, let's insert it, USB drive is here. Let's connect it as before to the PlayStation. Okay, it's connected. And let's click on OK here. OK, it's not enough free memory. This USB storage device file is unsupported. You're all set, it's written here. Need to wait again. Okay, it's ready. So how to check that everything's work? You need to go back and check whether it's appeared here. Gold hand is here, you see. So you have all the settings here and it's working well. Then you need to install the game, set the next step. Right now I will connect my USB drive. I have already games here. So I need to copy it from my laptop. I connect my HDD device and copy it here. For instance, I have the game, this one. So you need to have a package name called PKG. So let's open a drive and transfer the game here. Wait until it will be transferred. Take some time as the game 36 gigabytes, so let's wait a bit and I will be back to you. All right, actually it's done. I copied the game here on my HD drive. So let's connect it to the PlayStation. Okay, I'm connecting it here. Okay, it's working, connected. So now let's install the game. Okay, what you need to do is to go to the settings, uh, gold hand here. Open the box settings uh, and actually package installer here. And it's found out the package. Just click on it and installation is started. So, and let's wait until it will be over to check it out. All right, seems game was installed. So let's close it and check it out. The last of us here, let's open it. Okay, let's enlarge it to make it full screen here. Okay. Okay, as you see, game is launching finally and supposed to work well. Basically, that's pretty much it for a review. In case you still have some questions, put it in the comments below. Put a thumbs up and see you next time.